he's detailing his machine. That still what is this? Sense. Look at how old this is. Yeah. It's done yeah. from Canada. My dad used to put these in his shims. Cool, yeah, eh? That's from the 60s. My dad used to. I'll hang it up. That's all looking nice, buddy. New air fresher from 1969. Hmm? Or Dave says oh, it's from yeah. the 60s, but it's kind of cool. Forest right. Fresh from Dunville, Canada. Oh, cool. Later, it was New York. Yeah. Doing the tires, buddy? I think so. Nice. Dean and I detailing our beaters for uh, yeah, like Derry's so. car show tomorrow, the annual thing. You guys are all coming to Derry's tomorrow, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Everybody, yeah? Dave, can you? It's the only show we told you. Why really the only say, show left, you know. <laughs> Why does this say 1978, Edson? Isn't that awesome? It's probably... Uh, Somebody just figured out a 7858, whatever. Or maybe, uh, <laughs> yeah. You gonna I mean, get some vacuum exactly in like, there? It looks just I don't like know, beautiful. I had a 78 Edsel and it looked about the same. <laughs> I gotta get old Dusty cleaned up here. All right. It's time for the annual car show at Derry's, which we always look forward to, and it's actually kind of the only one I go to, so we, uh, today I'm taking the 59 Plymouth, I don't know if you can see back there, uh, yeah, we got Dean in the Edsel, and Miles is behind in his Chevy truck, uh, first we're going to stop at Mark's, and we're going to make sure that the, uh, 69, is it a 70? You guys, I think it's a 70, uh, yeah. We had a little picture of that a couple weeks ago, the Mark Donahue Edition Javelin. Pretty cool car. So I know Mark likes to take a different car to Derry's every year, so keeps a guy, you know. <laughs> That's a lot of fun. So what did we take? Last year I took the T to Derry's, so this year I'm taking the yellow 59. And uh, Dean, well, Dean's taking the Edsel, which is awesome. He even washed it. He even vacuumed it. That's like two firsts for Dean and his cars anyway. We'll catch up when we get to Mark's here. Just enjoying a pretty nice day. Okay, away we go. Oh, just an absolutely lovely day. Some very picturesque uh, scenery. Isn't this cool? They're all cool. Yeah. I, Look at this is the one. We're gonna get a, a close-up interview with Derry and this restored. Uh, what years is Dean? Seventy-four. Seventy-eight. Yeah. Because Derry gave custom you, 500 RCMP car. He gave me Derry gave me the parts car for it. Okay. Yeah, but uh, we can open the door and look. You should have the. the it might tell you wow. the year. Wow. Sure, it's a seventy-eight. Open the door. He actually had to get the glass custom made because it's hard to find. Yeah, he was just telling me. Oh no, he had to order windshields for the AMC that he's doing oh, as well. Oh, okay. So yeah, so Derry's just finished this. So we will get a close up. Uh, I want to get a few minutes with Derry here uh, when it's not car show day because he's so busy today. But uh, yeah. Cool, guys. Eh? Custom 500. We've been trying to get Derry on the show for ages, but he really wanted to wait till this car was finished before we showed it. So cool. Anyway, so that's just a sneak preview of probably one of the only one of these that's restored in the whole world. Like this is a legit cop car, not a repop, not a sticker package. This is a real police car. And uh, restored to absolutely correct specification. So uh, there's a lot of cool police car stuff on this, like steering coolers and uh, lots of cop car options that are really fun. So. And got your uh, Roscoe car. I believe this <laughs> belongs to Derry's father. 
This is a, a uh, recreation of the, of course, the Roscoe P. Coltrane car. Fantastic. Yeah, isn't it neat, eh? And how and many some of these? Vicks. Oh, yeah, that's cool. Vicks. Yeah. Vicks galore for everybody. Like an older Vic, like an M3 or something. Yeah, a little older Vic and then a Dodge. And an even older Vic again. This one looks to be late 80s. Yeah, like a 90 or 90, yeah. maybe. Yeah. But, you know, might give details run for his money. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what year what year they stopped making the square ones like this. 91. 91? So yeah. it could be a 9091, yeah. And an LX 5 liter. And I believe Derry said this is 1980. Yeah, there we go. 80. Grand Fury, yeah. This is amazing, right? That's amazing. Like, 1980, Grand Fury. Oh, well, there's a write-up. He's got a write-up on it. Oh, yeah, look at that. Wow. Man, look at the upholstery. Wow. This thing is cherry, man. This is another one that Derry restored years ago, and I think he oh, sold yeah. it to a friend since, so. You know, it's yeah. so cool, eh? Yeah. Isn't that nice? That a Malibu, another beautiful. I think this is Ron's car, but I'm not sure. This thing is cherry. Yeah, too. it's cool. Yeah, it's got the correct police upholstery. It's got the light bar. Yeah, need Oh, it's That's got a late model engine in. Okay. Maybe this is Ron's car, or Ron built it. I don't know. Yeah, need though. Yeah, this thing probably rips. Oh yeah, need yeah. a Vortec injection. Cool. Yeah, that's very cool. Yeah, and another reliable, Vic here. Reliable, reliable. Very nice Vic. Nice there you go. Yeah. Yeah. Who's driving? Oh, it's a moose. <laughs> <laughs> and this is cool, eh? Hey? Yes. Diplomat. <laughs> California Highway <laughs> Patrol. Patrol. So neat. And <laughs> did Oh, the interior is neat, eh? It's like you can get it wet, oily, and you know, it doesn't matter. Yeah. It's got like such a tough interior. Sorry for Highway Patrol, man. That's wicked. Oh, look what he keeps hiding in the sheds. Ooh. Is this is a 73? Yeah. Satellite? I think so. Yeah. Satellite portal. That's a nice original paint car. Maybe it'll sneak us in here. Yeah. Satellite custom. <laughs> cool. Yeah. It's not a police car. But maybe, maybe a shell or a donor for one, or maybe he's just going to drive it. Yeah. Satellite. Yeah, look at this guy here, a Hayes Clipper. What a machine, eh? Oh man. It's a beautiful shape inside. Oh. 
You know, yeah, this is great. Look at these things, eh? They're so <laughs> massive. It just looks like it's made out of concrete. It's <laughs> so huge. Yeah, that's so oh, neat. Oh, they got <laughs> exhaust from bumper, neat. But I still need to keep it. That is so... Wow. Hank Williams car or something, yeah. This thing is totally a Nashville car, eh? Sixty nine Dean? Uh, I thought it was a sixty eight, but I could be wrong. No, I think it is a sixty nine. I think you're right. Beautiful, yeah, I think it's sixty nine, yeah. Yeah. Sure, yeah, my friend had one of these when we were kids. He had a four door, it was original paint and everything. They have the nice swoop on the body line. Is it a... Yeah, that's sixty nine. Oh sixty eight, you're right. Sixty eight? Oh, my mistake, okay. yeah. Oh. They all kinda of look similar. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's reliable. Cool. Yeah. Uh, don't get me wrong, I like high perk stuff. <laughs> yeah, and modest. Have you that? Yeah, yeah, that's very nice. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Beautiful old Yorker here. Chrysler <laughs> Blue Yorker. <laughs> it's got lean burn at seven or eight. Oh, okay. I think. That's enough. Yeah, it's neat. Yeah. <laughs> and the 64 XL. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. She will. Oh, but it depends okay. on who's around. Yeah. Like, oh, interesting. How many I saw the here. steering wheel was yeah, right. I didn't know the dash. Good. That's cool. Yeah. Buckets, console, yeah. beautiful. Yeah. Where, like, yeah, sure is neat. Yeah. I wonder if it was a vinyl top car one time because of the bow. Maybe. Yeah. It's got an antenna in the back. XL, yeah. Pretty nice. For sure. I have no idea how can't go wrong with these, no. Yeah, those are tough cars. 911 Targa. Yeah. It's hard to believe, 72. Maybe. Want to go for a ride? Okay. Frank Cruz and I are on our way over to Mark's house and we're going to fire up the 1941 Dodge Luxury Liner. Uh, Mark does need a hand uh, keeping the cars running and so I'm, you know, it doesn't really hurt my feelings to go over there and take a 41 Dodge for a drive. This is uh, his grandfather's car. And we did a Will It Run episode on this many years ago, probably at least 10 years ago. We try to put a couple hundred miles a year, at least put a tank of gas through the thing. So I'm going to whistle over there with the Menace and we're going to fire it up. And if, uh, if all goes well, we're going to go for a drive. It's a lovely old car, all original. Mark uh, bought the car from the family probably 40 years ago and kept it in a sea can until about 10 years ago. And so... We pulled it out and went through the whole thing mechanically. It's pretty much original on the body and interior. And so it just needs, uh, you know, you got to put enough miles on these old cars to uh, to stop them from leaking and falling apart. So, and Frankers doesn't mind either, right? It's a hot day, isn't it? She'll probably hide on the floor. Okay, let's go. Oh, hi there. seat here. Look at how nice and original all this is. Just a treat. In you go, dog. All right, let's see if she'll start. 
as I recall, this car likes a little bit of gas to get going. <coughs> as some of them do. Right, boo-boo? Do-do-do-do-do-do-do. So, did you have a nice drive back from Derry's? Yeah. That was a good time. Car did well, eh? Come on. <clears throat> you need a little more gas. Ten years, right? More or less since we put this car together. <laughs> I think it got more miles than some of the Porsches and Ferraris. It's been pretty reliable. You can't even complain about it today because it was just out of gas. Because that's the longest it's ever taken to get it started. Rangers, you don't get to fucking run off. 
great. Keys, check, check. Doors. This is a regular ah, contributor. Same old shit. <laughs>